right, I'm gonna show you how I would um, design something here off of something I'm gonna uh, download, already downloaded off of uh, Thingiverse, okay? I'm trying to build a JBL mount for my kayak. Here's my speaker. But I found this mount on Thingiverse, right? This goes on a shower, but I want to mount it to my kayak. So I'm going to make it um, slightly different. So I already downloaded the file. I already um, put it in the folder that I want to be. Here's my work plane, right? Okay, go up here to import, easy. Choose a file. It's in my downloads there. JBL flip holder. Open. Import. Okay, there's my file. This is what they have already designed, right? Okay, I'm trying to do this while I'm on the camera here. So I'm taking a box, clear box here. Put it here, right? Okay. Move this out. Okay. So I want it to be so much easier with a mouse, bro. I can zoom right in, zoom out. Um, I'm gonna move this up a little higher so that it is right about flush with, I want it about flush with that, right? Okay. Should I make it a little bit more? Okay. So there's that. <clears throat> Okay, highlight both of these, group them together. Okay, took the whole bottom off of that. Now, I'm gonna move this down. See that 13 on the side there? I'm gonna bring it all the way down to zero so it's flush. Boom. Okay. Mm. So dope, okay. Don't really want that gap there. Well, that was probably not going to hurt the design, but it might not be bad for print-wise. But I think I'd rather have it a little bit more solid. Okay, this is where it's going to get a little trickier. Solid box. Okay. Bring that in. We're going to make that flush with this. Can I bring it out a little bit? Um, okay, so this part right here, so this, this will center it. These up here, right here, will center it on the object that you're playing with, right? Okay. It's pretty flush. Um... Yeah, it's not terrible. We'll just go with that. Okay. And bring this down. Okay. Well, now I need to make it longer. Right? I'll make it too long so I can see it on the other side and I can shorten it up. Oh, that's way too long. Okay. Grab this guy. Still too long. If I wanted to get really precise with that, I could, but it's not gonna look too bad, right? It's not gonna look too bad, even if it sticks out a little bit like that. Sorry, my hand's cramping. Sorry, this might be a long video, but it shouldn't be too bad, okay. Click and drag, group these together, right? Okay. So I took that basic design already and I made it my own already. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna put holes in here so I can screw it down to my kayak, right? So 
we're going to create screw holes. Okay. If I bring it back just a little bit, it's probably about good. I really want to get this squared up. I don't know how big of a screw hole I need, actually. I should have. I kind of need to measure that first, but. Okay, so what are we at? Nine, okay, eight and five. Uh, 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 seven. Look too bad. Seven might be too big. Let me find a screw that I'm probably gonna have just about this size. Okay, find a screw here. <clears throat> Got my handy dandy micrometer. So this is in millimeters here. So seven millimeters is probably way too big. All right. Grab it like so. 4.5. You know what? I'll make it about five. Because <clears throat> I know that's going to be plenty of fine. It's really hard to do one-handed. My head is 8.8. .8. So I'm gonna go five, five and five. If this is really hard. Okay, five and five, right? Do I look at bow center? No. That looks a little better. Okay. Now we need to go for a little bit with it. It really doesn't have to be perfect because it's just for me, so. Um, it looks pretty damn good. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to put a, I want to inset my screw, right? what I said that was 8.8. .8. So I'm gonna go about uh, 10 by 10. Cause I'm probably gonna choose a little bit of a bigger screw. I kinda wanna get this centered as possible. So if you're having this issue where you really can't get it exactly centered, Come down here to the snap grid. You can choose to move it by like one millimeter, 0.5 or 0 0.25, 0 0.1. I'm gonna go 0 0.25 because that should be plenty. Um, it looks a little bit better, but not quite. So use my arrows, move it around. It looks pretty damn close, right? Okay, so let's pull this up. I wanna put that right, right about flat right there for now. Sorry if the shit's moving around too much. Um, we got a solid ass piece here. So now we're gonna go down till it's about flush. Okay. So it looks pretty good. Now we're gonna take this. Um, I need to hit shift and click. This is gonna be hard to do, hold on. Okay, shift and click. And now we're gonna group those two together, right? Um, okay, now we're gonna take this and we are going to duplicate it. This is just my little plug hole here. Pretty simple. And it looks pretty 
looks pretty uh, simple on there. Sorry if the camera's moving around. I'm not really paying attention to the camera as much as my um, computer here now. But that looks pretty good. Okay. You can see the holes are going to pop through there, right? So now we're going to copy, we're going to highlight everything and group it all now. And now we have little inset screws as well. And my speaker should set right inside of there and face towards me. Or I might put it on actually the other way on my kayak actually facing um, facing outwards like so. And that way, when I put it in, my speakers, I'll have my access to my volume buttons and play, stop, Bluetooth, all that good stuff there. And I can actually charge it probably from that way. So that is how I designed this in, um, what, about 10, 11 minutes? So, yeah. Um, hopefully I can send this to you. Hopefully it's not too long of a video. Peace.